going everybody if you haven't liked or subscribed please like and subscribe on this video and many more there'll be many more to come and many different types of videos uh, this one is going to be me breaking down how i do this multimedia rendering of our dogs lying together at yeah, our dogs because they were my fiance's now they're mine as well and the black dog at the end of the her aunt told me to help that for a while. They to lay together in a weird heart shape. And we caught the picture, so as a gift, I did this without her aunt knowing and presented it to her when she came to pick up her dog. So I started out uh, the building the values from lightest to darkest, where the light and shadow lies and everything. I do many colors, many renderings, and many medias, and everything, so this all takes a very long time. The original video is about 4 hours, the speed video at 2.5 speed is uh, an hour to an hour 20 minutes, and this one's at 20 minutes at like 7 speed. So I started out with a canary yellow. Then I started building the baseboards with a uh, sunset orange, and now I'm hitting it with a terracotta, and then I think I hit it with a terra sienna, and then a dark brown uh, oak, I believe, dark oak brown. And then from there I start hitting the values with a uh, colored pencil. And then my liner to give it a grainy wood look is actually a ballpoint big pen. Ended up really liking the way it looked and I wanted it all to blend. So I continued the pen look for the rest of the piece and I did not stop. So I start from lightest to darkest and then add some highlight values on this color pencil and then line it with the ball pen. The background first, then to foreground to give your focus on your subject. So as you see I'm now putting the Sienna uh Sienna with the four baseboard lines and extra no, I started building it in with the orange to so more like the overall than the CM the CM gave some of the line to it. Now the uh oak brown is gonna get where we can put together and then watch when I start hitting it with the color pencils and the kind of it's really gonna pop out. And then let that dry before you uh, jump over to the next thing because you don't want the pen to blend and everything like that. And also, pen blends really well, oddly enough, with a uh, pencil if you do it at a good time. So I like to sometimes blend it out with the color pencil themselves. As you see, I'm now adding a color pencil in for a very fine line. Uh, shadow before I start adding in the pen. Now I have to put in the highlights for where the light hits. Uh, throw in some of the different bright colors that touch before I go to pen in. I myself really enjoy art, I love art, and I have my own style, I do everything in my own way, as you can see, and I really enjoy doing it. I use primarily Prisma color for my colored pencils and my watercolor, and I uh, sometimes use favorite types though, but that's because they have a very soft value, and if I want to uh, not overthrow it with vibrancy or dark uh, color, I'll use them to 
start as a base and then go over it with my prisma to really bring out what, what I want. So it's a prisma color, that's my, my go to. I use Costco pens for my markers, my paint markers, but I'm not using that in this piece. Uh, this music is a no copyright music. I love the sound of rain and pianos and lo fi and a lot of stuff I feel like. My ADHD is heavy. I'm an overstimulated person, I guess, you know. <laughs> marker but I happened to have uh, ran out and forget about that so I just continued the piece the way I would have when I was in grammar school with a ballpoint pen. Fun fact, I uh, gave up art for quite a few years in my 20s because uh, I was told by somebody when I was having a kid that uh, I would be starting. So I am now getting back into it and showing people all of the knowledge I knew, I was a math person, I was relearning new forms of art and style that I had to do with Airbus. So that's actually the behind the scenes people will see how that is relearning and mastering what I've already learned with the Airbus tools. As you see, I have my own style when it comes to other things that Grab this free gift from Drew is another um, amazing artist. He did all the art pieces on um, every movie we do up with. Um, Skyward, Indiana Jones, and uh, there's an amazing documentary on YouTube about him. I always forget his last name, but his name is Drew, and he's a little bit of an amazing artist, Drew. like my style because I don't mind shipping out. So as you see I'm now getting towards working my way from back to front. And I'm sorry for any of the odd clips of the sounds that occur. Um, it's hard to get these audios without the ads that come with them. Uh, whether it's no copyright or not, and actually the no copyrights come with more ads because you're, they're not getting anything out of it, so no matter what you use, Spotify or whatever, YouTube, Carol and Friends downloads, getting into these 
recording very difficult. That dog is named Layla, by the way. The one I just did. <clears throat> Cheers. Uh, I am not yet sponsored by anyone, and if anyone is interested, my email is secondfunstudios1 at gmail.com. I mostly get my supplies from Blick Art Materials. I use Prismal Color, Color Pencils, and Watercolor. Uh, pencils and and jealous shoe products, Createx paint. I have a lot of airbrush, and right now I'm using my jealous brushes, but I want to get some Kalinskis and some really good brushes. But as you see, I'm not exactly wealthy or anything like that. I kind of make do with what I can afford. All this is affordable things. Even, I mean, the most expensive thing on this table is the paper itself. For that small, like, 10 page watercolor paper is like 30 bucks. My small pack of, right there, that pack right there of Prismacolor, that small pack is only like 14 bucks. You know, pens you can get for like a dollar. Yeah, a whole pack of pens for a dollar. But it is not cheap, especially watercolor. Watercolor is not cheap whatsoever. I do want to get some other products to try, and I will be doing some uh, compare and contrast and comparisons and videos and things like that. There'll be a Faber Castell versus Prismacolor, what and what have you. But uh. It'd be cool if I click to hit me up or any any of our Prisma color. One of those two would be amazing. Right now, I'm not good enough for Iwata or Createx, and I, I know that. I'm not trying to because I'm still getting there with the airbrushing, but you know, everyone starts somewhere. Multimedia artists don't just you know stick to one person. Yeah, you gotta do something different every time, every chance we get. So that dog right there that I'm doing is Levi. The way I built up the values of the dogs was by going by the light shadow. So Layla started out with a blue going into a blue violet going into a black. Um, Levi started out with a yellowish brown. Um, I think it's called gold fender, gold, golden. Oh man, I forget the name sometimes. Um, but then he went into a terra, terracotta, terra sienna, and dark oak. His, uh, white spots were gray going into white. His belt around his neck is there. His two paws, there's one underneath his neck, one going off the side of the mat. His tail down there at the bottom. And then the final dog is Apollo. Apollo is just straight golden. So, figuring out the multi-shades of yellow going into light and white and brightness was really difficult. Those are little brown thrown in at the end to blend together, but, whew. 
to fight the challenge. So that right there, as you can see, I'm starting to throw some highlights in with the browns and the colored pencils and everything. Little fur here and there, the splotches. Got about five minutes left before I get Apollo and everything done and fully finish out the lining of the mat dog mattress that they all shared that day. As you can see, it's hard to really get that detail of the fuzz and little claw marks that they create when they try to fluff it up. Tattoo is on my arm that is the Cuban island, island, Cuban island, with the flag on the inside, and a Dennis the Menace with a spray can uh, doing the rock and roll salute. So, you know, the devil horns, as you can hear. That beat just went well with the flow of my hand up there and the chips out of the cheers to that lady. Yeah. So I have some plans to possibly do a uh, gallery at some point of multimedia artwork of things I see in real life, just like this, but, uh, more people's interests, because not everybody likes dogs, not everybody, but some people like, you know, like scenery, and stuff like that, so, I have a plan to possibly do a gallery in the future of that, so let me know if you're interested, and also, I will be definitely doing a behind the scenes on that, but that would be a subscriber-based, uh, video, you'll, probably only get small clips on the free side. So as you see now, I'm starting out with the canary yellow, going into the brown sienna terracotta, and I gotta go with light browns, and actually I'm hitting the white, uh, the highlights, and where the sun, or the light hits his fur to make him almost shine uh, with white as I go along so that it doesn't get over overly saturated I want it to keep having a different feel where the light hits not until I put the brown later do I allow it to blend into those points and seeing the blending of the outline and everything together really comes out good the only problem is I uh, forgot the camera was off when I hit the final brown so I'm going to tell you I did a a very light uh, color pencil of terra uh, cotta and blended it in with the Prismacolor blender. Yeah, even had to do with black with his ear and everything. So once again, I hope you guys enjoy my art, like and subscribe. Also email me at secondstudios one at gmail.com for any commission or request or even if you just want to uh, conversate, uh, get involved, anything like that, um, let me know. Uh, thank you. I appreciate your support. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you around. Peace and love. I'll let the last 40 seconds go with just music.